Hi, this is Chaz Palminteri, and if you're thinking about getting your eyes done, the only person to see is Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. I flew all the way from New York to be here, and Dr. Rothman did my eyes. And all I could say is, it's a miracle. I could see. You see Dr. Rothman of LASIK of Nevada. the best source of Vegasy drinking goodness. I'm Alicia. I'm David. And this is episode 45. 45, you know. <laughs> That's all we, uh, <laughs> we got a question this week. Where's episode 45? Here it is. Here it is, because we're on, we're on our new days, Wednesday, back to our, actually our original day. Right, if you notice, it's now Wednesday. Yes, from Monday. So. Unless you're listening to us on the radio, but we'll get to that in just a That's second. That's Friday. Okay, so opening up here. First off, welcome to the live studio audience. Yay! <laughs> And as always, welcome to the live chat room. <laughs> you know, this is the first time we've had topless ladies in the live studio. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even notice if they were pretty. I just noticed they were topless. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, also, yeah, the chat room. Also, if you want to get a hold of us, pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. That's pubcrawl at vegasvideonetwork.com. Uh, we're also on uh, the Twitter. The Twitter. As the LV Locals. And Vegas Video Network. The whole network's on Twitter. I blew up on Twitter this week. What happened? I did a smart move. What'd you do? Um, I, you know, I check in I know, everywhere we go. or yes. I try to check in everywhere we, we go. But then I started mentioning the places that we're at. You know, like, we're having a blast at, at whatever, at Monte Carlo. You know, and, 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 I, and then Monte Carlo retweets it because they're like, you know, and then you start getting... Pretty sweet. Yeah, they You're did pretty it. Pretty tweet savvy. Like, I got, I, it got <laughs> we also have a toll free listener line. We do. That's uh, the number is 866 966 4599. 866 966 4599. There you also, go. Also, we're on iTunes, audio and video. Check it out. Leave us a five star review. If right. You will. Yes, even if you don't want to, give us one anyway. And we, the audio we love and it. We the love video. it. Exactly. Also, we're on iTunes. That's and right. Roku. There you go. And that and Roku comes up a little bit later. Hey, you know what time it is? It's <laughs> after time. After time. What time is it? It's time for cocktail of the week. <laughs> All right, let's slow it down. Da -da. Enough of this craziness here. Let's start off with cocktail of the week. You know what? Cool thing about cocktail of the week this week? We invented it. I don't know if we invented it. You named it. I named it. Right. It was kind of inspired <laughs> by something else, but we get a lot of our own concoctions on this week's episode. Yes. So let's do the cocktail of the week. This sounds great. We've never tried it. This is going to be our first delve our into first this. first stab at this one. It's called what? It's called not iced tea. Right. So you may think it's iced tea, but it's not. It's not iced tea. In fact, well, there is iced tea in it. Okay, well, let's see. It looks like, it, see, of course, you wouldn't come up with this because it's got a lot of work for me to do. I know. What am I doing here? Okay, so you're going to add, you're making two. Right. Actually, you're making one of each, so you could just do. Uh, uh, okay, so you need uh, four leaves of fresh mint in each glass. Four leaves of fresh mint. That's like four. Or four-ish. Four-ish. You have little pieces. There we go. I want a little bit more in this one. Well, you can have that one. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> oh, do you just mean four in general? I mean, more in general. More mint. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to put a quarter part of simple syrup. Quarter part? One. What does that mean? Quarter ounce, I guess. Or a part, however. I think I'm just going to put enough in there to give it, to get it wet. Okay. And then you're going to muddle that. Muddle? Muddle. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting to use my muddler. It's, this a, is it's a nice muddler, too. Made in Switzerland. Um, only the finest muddler. Well, only the best stuff here on, on Pub Crawl. You know, wow, this is kind of like how you make a mojito, actually. It's a lot like how you make a mojito. Stabby, stabby. Yeah, you just got to crush this up, get all the mint 
in there. That's cool. That's a workout too. I feel like oh yeah, like <laughs> I feel Flex. like I'm um, I feel like I'm actually making a drink. Like this is kind of this is kind of serious business. Okay. Okay, really. you're muddled. I think um, I'm muddled. Now you're going to add. I'm muddled, all right. An ounce of Grey Goose. I don't have Grey Goose. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, an recipe, orange, an orange vodka. Calls, yeah, the recipe whatever, calls for whatever you need. Vodka. Any orange vodka. This happens to be Kettle One Orange that our house guest left us just a little bit at the bottom. Aranya. <laughs> we yes, our house guest uh, jokes are getting old because we're actually running out of all that booth now. Well, you know, because living in the Vegas, you get a lot of house guests. You can actually go a little heavier on that if you'd like. I think I will. <laughs> Get a lot of house guests in Vegas. I recommend when you move to Vegas and your friends start to visit. Have two, have extra, extra rooms. No, I recommend a locking liquor, liquor cabinet <laughs> is what I recommend. Oh, stop. Yeah, I'll just put a little more in there. Okay. okay. Then you're going to add three parts of iced tea each. There's ice in here, though, too. Yes, you'll add that later. No, I better add it now. I don't want to splice the ice. Okay. I'm just, you know, just saying. Like that. Well, this is a busy drink you made here. <laughs> Man, it's like half the show's making this thing. All right, then I just fill it with iced tea. Sure. Homemade iced tea. There you go. Made oh. by David today. Yes. Uh, you know, iced tea is usually not very used in drinks because it's not strong enough to mask. But since we added the lemon, I mean the mint and orange vodka, I'm going to get you a bendy straw. Let's try. And All then right. if you want to be a fancy pants, you could put mint on top and an orange slice. But there is mint in it. There you go. There's your not iced tea. you got to watch your face. It's great. Really? It's really good. I was going to sweeten my iced tea because I don't drink unsweetened iced Success. tea, but that would have been too sweet because it's got the syrup in it. Ooh, that's really good. Ooh. That's my new favorite drink. My, my problem is, Yay. this is my problem. Well, you don't. You're not supposed to I'm getting. Up. I'm getting mint all over the place. This and I'm almost is a done very with good drink. Okay, so all I right. do. I have a drunk term. Oh, uh, we made this up. We did. We've been actually working on this for a couple months. We've been cultivating. We've been this. cultivating it, and it's it's not really drunk per se, but it's something that we notice when we're out drinking at bars. Right. We'll notice couples sitting around, and it's 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 always when the guy. Doesn't really match his girl. Let's just say the girl's a lot. The girl's harder. the Laurel, and the guy's the Hardly. Right. Because he's just like nasty, or just too like either real fat or so real the, old, so or the, just something doesn't match, and she's like a is, she's a knockout. The term is Laurel and Hardly. Laurel and Hardly. Because we've been trying to use that, and because it's funny, because sometimes we we're trying to come up with something. Because even it happened last night. I won't say <laughs> where, but it happened last night. Your first instincts in Vegas are, oh, she's working. She's a working girl. But when you look at her and go, well, she's obviously not. She's really pretty and really attractive, but she's not. But she was really loud and, and she well, was. No, not, she not was, her. Oh, this, this in general. One? But they don't look like a you know, working girl, but they're just attractive. What's like, well, what's going on here? Laurel and Hardly. All right, so she's either Out a working leg. girl, an import wife. Last night was an important An important wife. wife last night. Yeah, she was Russian. Yeah, like, this, oh. this guy was like, did not fit her at all. This He's guy was huge. Super skinny, super and hot. Old, and, and she was, and she wasn't so hot that she was working, and she wasn't so hot that it was just unbelievable. But then she was like, oh, I don't like that. And she had that German, that Russian accent. Yeah. Like, oh, that's what happened. <laughs> No, she she actually looked. She was, she was having a good time. Well, he she was, was smashed too. They were eating steaks and she martini. was doing. She was doing shots. Yeah, they were, yes, <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like, oh, that's what's going. on. Hey, good for him. Yes, I mean, she's a pampered import. Mm -hmm. They were Laurel and Hardly. Laurel anyway. and Hardly. Okay. Anyway, let's take a quick break. Come do some station ID. Come back with Pub Crawl Adventure. Hey, I'm Alman. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you get them to do that all the time? <laughs> Just sit there and be an ass. Is that it? <laughs> hey, I'm Al. <laughs> hey, I'm Al Mancini at Top of the Food Chain. You are watching the Vegas Video Network. We got big forks, big spoons. I got a big mouth. I got no guest. Welcome back Look. to Pub Crawl on Vegas Video Network. Yes, you know, here's the problem with this drink. I'm done with mine. Mm. And here's it took the, a whole station ID to get through your drink. Well, the problem is, <laughs> it's like drinking iced tea. The problem is, how do you make another one? You've got to dump it all out and remuddle. You can't just make another one. Uh-oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. So I need somewhere to dump my... 
<laughs> in a bucket. Ice. And I figured out you shouldn't drink this this drink with the straw. Right, because you just suck up mint and get it stuck in your right. teeth. <laughs> I know what I'll do. <laughs> so, well, this this week's adventure is pretty impressive. I actually have to say. Well, first off, it was a three-day weekend. This was Labor Day. Yes, and, and we started off with the last of your the Ray last Gun of the show. Reagan show was Friday night. We did our last show downtown for the summer, and. That was a blast. We actually, for the first time, got smashed on stage. Um, <laughs> I, can, I can say that now, because what are they going to do, fire me? Um, it was our last show. Somebody bought us Jameson shots. I won't say who that was. That would be you. <laughs> um, and we were going to make them last a whole set, but then we, I don't know, we just started shooting them. And it was like a triple shot. And we had the best time. I don't know if it's because I'd been drinking Jameson, but I thought we were amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, I thought we were wonderful. We were I so thought you guys were actually good. We went to our normal spot, which is uh, Bootlegger, which we probably won't go too much anymore because, you know, it's not our Friday night ritual. Had a blast again. Um, and, uh, you know, got home and with the wee hours and whatever. But Saturday, Saturday was insane. So we and I, you and I got up about the crack of noon. Yep. As we like to do. I'm muddling, <laughs> by the way. Um, Getting in in the, in the in the wee morning hours again at six right. o'clock. And uh, so we got in about we, we got about noon, hungry as you are as you become. And what did we start? Oh, we were hungry, so we wanted to eat. Now we were gonna go somewhere, but we ended up not going there. What was that? Oh, we were driving around. We actually got kind of in a dilemma. We ended up driving in a big circle all around Vegas because we were kind of a little out of it, just kind of tired and whatever, and we didn't know where we wanted to go. I got on the freeway, went all the way around, like, I don't know where to, just where to park, where do we start? So I parked at Barrage, because it's got easy, good parking, so let's just go in the Mirage. Mm -hmm. um, went in there, and I, was, I, th I thought, well, let's go to Carnegie Deli. I've never done that. The, you know, of course, the, the, uh, the world famous from New York, mm -hmm. Carnegie Deli. We looked at the prices and went, I, I know they give you a ton of food. They do. They're, they give you so much food, it's not even funny. But... I don't want. I don't think I need that much. You know. Yeah, because that's a, it's a place you go and get those sandwiches. The meat stack, like you know. Right. Yeah. No, it's literally that big. And, and, and you, that's a you'll half. have leftover meat, and I don't want to carry meat around all day. Right. Look, that, <laughs> welcome to my world. And um, so. I don't even know what that means. I don't know either. It sounds good though. Oh, I think it's pretty fun. <laughs> the, um, so anyway, we 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 bypassed that. I got simple syrup on my hand, um, and we started walking. We got about to st about the backside of Caesars, which also sounds dirty. Um, and uh, <laughs> we thought, let's go to Serendipity Three. We've never been there. Right. We've been wanting to try that forever. Okay, Serendipity Three. That's the official review. First off, let's just start by by the lowering suspense level. Awesome. Like way more awesome than I was expecting this to be. Because it's like a Ferrell's, which you didn't know what I was talking about. I have no idea. She had no idea what a Ferrell's was. Oh, man. This must have Ferrell's only been in L.A. Awesome. Look, see, you know, Scott's name, Scott oh. was doing the same thing I was doing. Oh. It's like a Ferrell's. So where were these? They weren't in Southern where, California. But not, they, were they not only Southern, Southern California? Where, where I grew I think up. They were only in Southern California. That's because I, I, every birthday I went from the age of yep. 4 to 12 was yep. at a Ferrell's. Had they, uh, That's the crazy. That crop. must have been in, like, an L.A. Yeah, thing. well, you remember, you saw Bill and Ted. Remember they took Napoleon? Yeah. And he ate those ice cream. That's a Ferrell's. Yeah. Well, I don't remember this. We never ate ice cream when I was a child. Oh, back in my day, we didn't, <laughs> we didn't have, have a refrigerator. No ice cream. And no. We made, we made we had, we had popsicles. <laughs> we had homemade popsicles. We made warm cream. <laughs> we didn't have ice cream. <laughs> oh, stop it. Anyway, okay, so I didn't know what Ferrell's <laughs> We was. just had ice, and that was our dessert. Ice. <laughs> flavored ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavored like like a refrigerator. <laughs> um, anyways, it was just like, it's like an adult Las Vegas Ferrell's ice cream parlor is what it was. Um, we didn't get any ice cream, though, but people were getting sundaes all over the place. Oh, and they it looked, looked, it looked amazing. really amazing. They have a lot of adult sundaes. They're famous for their, it's so funny, we go there, and they're super famous for their... Frozen hot chocolate. Right, right? which we didn't get. <laughs> but um, but so we sat at the bar, as we do. We walked in, sat at the bar. It was jumping... Well, first off, don't expect to get a seat at the bar because it's tiny. Oh, it was like eight seats. Yeah, it's tiny. So we, we walked up to the to get seated and we said, hey, can we just skip and go to the bar? If you can get a seat, you can. Yeah, so they're we, nice. Luckily, we got, we, there was two seats open and we jumped in. Beautiful day. It's 105. We're sitting in an ice cream parlor at the window seat. Awesome. Bartender Julio. Julio, yes. Awesome that. guy. In fact, turns out we knew him. Which kind of happens in our world. But turns out he's like, yeah, I know you guys. Like, well. Shocking. Yeah, shocking. Shocking. <laughs> shocking. Um, <laughs> but he was fantastic. So 
First up, I checked in on Foursquare, which is what you do. And what does that say? Hey, your first check-in on Foursquare, you get a free drink. I showed him. Boom. And I already ordered a drink, though. He goes, mm -hmm. you know what? Your next one's on me. I'm like, oh. Or on that, you know, because of that. Nice. Awesome. You got... Ooh, I, I was, the, the drinks are a little bit pricey. Well, they're like 12 to 14. Well, yeah, the specialties 12. are like 14 bucks. But, you know, you're on. The, you know, okay, by the way, first off, Serendipity is in front of Caesar's Palace. It's literally on the sidewalk out in front of Caesar's Palace between, the, between Las Vegas Boulevard and Absinthe and then Caesar's Palace. I mean, it is right on the street. And they've got that little weird Buddhist shrine or whatever. In yeah, the you're getting obscure. Nobody it was, it was knows cool. where that is. It was cool. I found it. It was cool. There's this rock over on the corner. <laughs> Stop it's, it. <laughs> oh, I am I, getting sidetracked, but I was wondering, where is Serendipity 1 and 2? There's no such thing. What? It's, the <laughs> first one was called Serendipity 3, because it's three people that own it. Is that really why? The chef, why? a bartender, and like a front of the house person. They, they open it. There's a Seren it's a Serendipity 3 in New York. And, there's, and just like everything in Vegas, there's one somewhere else, and then there's one in Vegas. There's one in Naples, and there's one here. There's one in Paris. There's one, you know, just like a lot of the restaurants here. There's one in New York, Serendipity 3, and there's one here. I need another one. Oh, it takes forever to do this. All right. What um, else are you doing? Are you trying to do a show? Yes. There's a, <laughs> a little busy. There's a recommendation from the chat to do the modeling in the uh, thing, the silver thing. Oh, at the shaker. Yeah. I didn't bring a shaker because I thought, oh. well, I'm a mover, but I'm now shaker. Oh. You know what? You don't need to muddle mine. I'm not going to muddle yours. Perfect. Okay. okay. Well, I got, they had a deal on sangria. Oh my God! Okay, which, which is the screaming deal? It's seven dollars, and the sangria is humongous. Okay, this and it's a blackberry and rosemary sangria, and it was so good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I sangria. don't like I don't like wine at all. I'm not a wino per se at all, um, but I will do a sangria every once in a while because those are pretty good. Um, and um, <laughs> that yours was one of the best ones I've ever seen. And you know how we knew it was good when you ordered it? I, I go, oh, is that it? Because next to Julio, he had a big tray, a big like kitchen bucket full of sangria being made. He goes, he goes, no, that's tomorrow's. Yeah, it's got like, it. Yeah, that, you know it's good. And it was awesome. But the greatest thing about it was all the drinks are expensive. You get a sangria the size of this. Oh, it was, it was pretty big like that, goblet like that big. For $7. That was a good deal. It was a steal. That was great. Um, yeah. And it tasted fantastic. And you and me, I don't even like it. Uh, I, I got to... a, you know, rum and coke or whatever. I, it didn't matter. We ordered... Food. Okay, it was, it's restaurant week in Vegas, so all the places are doing your, those prefix menu. Um, and so the good thing about that, we didn't order that, but the good thing about it is you look at what they are serving and realize that, that they're putting what, yeah. their best foot forward. What they think is the best thing for they you. They think that's going to bring you back, so let's order that anyway. Um, the prefix thing was, it's like 30 bucks a head, and we only got a little of this, a little of that. and what, It didn't really sound like, you know, we said forget it. I'm on a chicken finger kick because remember last week I went to Count Vamped and got a great, got a great, fin I got, what, I'm, I'm all of a sudden I'm <laughs> Japanese. Got a great chicken finger. <laughs> I got a great chicken finger. <laughs> um, got great chicken fingers there. Almost to rival uh, Harley Davidson mm -hmm. Cafe, which has the best in the world because those are coated in cornflakes. Corn flakes. They're on their prefix menu, chicken fingers. And I asked him, which I'm learning now, tip of the week, not really, but just tip. Extra Always tip ask the bonus part. tip of the week. Yeah, ask ask what's good, and he said, "Oh, the chicken fingers are amazing. They're in a light tempura kind of batter. They make them themselves. They're not like the pre-frozen." Give me an order of those. Yeah, and he said, "And the crab cake sandwich is really good too." So we got yeah. a crab cake sandwich with sweet potato fries. With sweet potato fries and chicken fingers. Oh my! It was God. amazing. Everything was. It was unbelievable. I mean. The, I, the, the crab cake sandwich is a little dry for me, but they gave you a whole tub of stuff to put on it, but you're always, like, watching your figures, so you never put enough of that stuff on there. Which, if you'd have put all of that on there, that would have been <laughs> the way to go. They would have if it was in their hands. Well, you I could've. thought it was fine the way it was, and I thought it was delicious. There you the go. chicken fingers were unbelievable. They were humongous balls of breading with chicken in the middle somewhere. Amazing, and they give you three dipping sauces. I mean, a, I, they're still... Not as good as Harley Davidson. I think. i got to go back there and recheck. But I, they're like in that category of amazing. Got another drink. Blast. Everybody was great. The other bartender was great. The lady next to me, I wanted to kick off of her stool. This old broad, oh, I wanted God. to just knock her right off her stool. She was just one of those, everything was wrong, complaining about everything. They brought out the salad. I don't want it yet. 
Which is not like they're going to put it on ice. You had to make a new set. It's like you. Oh, that's why? Yeah. I thought they brought her the wrong salad. No, she, didn't want, she didn't want it yet. Ugh. Like, oh, I want it's, it's Oh, she was just everything. And I'm like, oh, I hate that. <laughs> but anyway, I do kind of halfway like when that happens here. Because what happens is we immediately become really, sti really s sticky sweet. Because just to, you know, to help out the, the staff, and then they go, oh, and now we're going to get taken care of. <laughs> because they're like, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, oh, Julio, man, you do it. Oh, my God, can I get, you know, oh, the, he's like, can I get something? I'm like, no, that's all right. No, you know, whatever. Take your time. You know, and then they're like, oh, I love these guys. So yeah. you get to like up, you get to up, you know, show how cool you're you are. You're such a brown noser. I know. Well, <laughs> you're, just, you're helping them out. It's not even brown nose. You're, you're helping the staff because they're getting kind of yelled at here by Miss Sticky Pants. So you're going to be cool. Yeah. They're just trying to do their job. So now with a good buzz on, hot day, beautiful. Oh, so now we're walking back through the Mirage or to the Mirage where the car's parked. We don't even know where we're going. Hey, oh, my God, look what's right there. Rum bar. Now, what did we do? We didn't even set out for rum bar. We weren't even trying to go to rum bar. We, we, what we, we, we did a, the tip last week when they hand you the little two-for-one two drink tickets or whatever right inside the door. Do it. This was a two-for-one beer, Corona It was a Bud Light and Bud I think... Light. Well drinks or yeah. something. And, but we'd already had a few. We'd already had two well drinks. or Well, you'd had two wines. And then we said, but Rum Bar, I go, hey, Vegas Video Network is doing their meetup next Friday, or this Friday, in two days from now, at Rum Bar. But from, this was Saturday, so it had been a week from then. Let's go check it out. Do a little re recon, see what's mm -hmm. happening. Went in there. We sat there for four hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we that, sat outside on the patio. Okay, so, it, so it, again, it's 102 degrees by now. We go out, we get a couple bars at the drink, a couple drinks at the bar, actually, and using our tickets, go outside, we find some seats way at the back with a, a All Canadian the misters lady. are on. The misters are kicking, it's just, the wet, and you're sitting right there, there's the, the volcanoes in front of you, you're outside in front of Mirage, um, Imperial Palace and Flamingo's right out across the street, beautiful view, Harris is right there, mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, it's Harris across the street, uh, Venetian's right there, and it just was wonderful. We're sitting there with our Bud Lights, down our necks, <laughs> which isn't really satisfying exactly what we do, but it's, it's so great. There was a, a lady across from us from Canada, and she, unfortunately, you all know this feeling. We oh, used I to felt know this. so sorry for her. We, all, we used to know this feeling. She had to leave in two hours. And so she was just oh. sitting there just having cocktail after cocktail. Just remember dreading. that feeling? Yeah. I'm sure, Scott, <laughs> you guys remember that? When you had to be like on the plane, you had to be, leave for the airport in, t in an hour. Oh, like, I don't want to go. I almost panicked <laughs> for her. Just the thought of that, like, oh, no. That's my worst nightmare is having to leave here. So we're sitting there, and it's like she's going to get on a plane in an hour, and we're still going to be sitting here for two more at uh -huh. least. <laughs> what time of the day was this? Five-ish, yeah. something like that. Yeah, because it was still light. Oh, yeah, it was, was it still busy? daylight. What's that? Was it busy? Yeah, yeah. it was packed yeah. up. Um, only complaint about the place is they've got DJ Spinny Spin. He's over there, and this guy must have been blind. He was the blind DJ. I say <laughs> that because the entire patio was full of people, 40 and, full of 40 and older people. That's all it was. And he's playing <laughs> like really loud. And, you're going, and everybody's doing this. What? Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. You know, and nobody's... Like, nobody's dancing. No one's getting into it. Head attacked by a piece of mint. And, <laughs> and so he's doing this, and he, you know, he's really proud of his record collection. You know, he's just, you know, doing his thing. And then about an hour in, he switched over to, like, all 80s. And everybody freaked out. It's like, oh, my God, all of a sudden, it's Jesse's girl. The 80s rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every, now people start dancing. It's just, it, and the party, and everybody, well, you know, this is, you know, this is the crowd. And... So now everybody's, you know, Jesse's girl, right? <laughs> and then it's some little bit of um, lover boy and whatever. Everybody's get digging it. They do Jump by Van Halen. It's great. And then right on the button, an hour later, he <laughs> goes right back. And everybody goes, and you watch the crowd go, oh. And you go back, and now it's lady lumps. And I'm like, <laughs> why, why is he bringing lady lumps? I, and if I, we had to, we had to uh, Google it. Because I didn't have to. You didn't believe me. I didn't believe that that was for my girl Fergie. I didn't believe <laughs> that my, I believe my wonderful, beautiful Fergie did that stupid, dumb song. That's the dumbest song I've ever heard in my life. Lady Lumps! Oh, stop it. Chat room.
Well, I wants to know if you think it's rude to go up to the DJ and say, please switch the music. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I probably, you probably almost should. But you only, I wouldn't uh, do it because... I, yeah, it's kind I, of inappropriate. I li well, because I would have went, dude, are you blind? Did you just see what was going on? Are you, are, do you have to play this crap? I mean, is it like a thing? Because, dude, you were just playing, no kidding, um, Thinking's and Far Away, I Like My Girls a Little Bit Older, whatever song that is, uh, Your Love by, I Don't Want to Lose Your Love Tonight. It's uh, Your Love by, oh, come on, chat come room. On chat room. <laughs> your Love by, ah, who cares? Playing that, everybody's singing along, everybody's having a great time. And then he goes to Lady Lumps, and everybody sits down. You, I would go to the guy, hey, man, are you blind? Ah, uh, but we didn't. We didn't. So anyway, so we're sitting there, and, we, and guess what? We run into a, we run into a viewer. Dun, 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 we did. Dun. Rog. Rog, who gave us the best question we've ever had, which I still have not partaken. You keep teasing me that we're going to go do it. He, uh, he asked if we tried the burgers at Spearmint Rhino. We have not yet, no. unfortunately. Yeah, he came up to us like, oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God, it's wrong. It was great. It was really cool to see it. He was so you got town. to meet him? It was awesome. Yeah. And he, he was in town for a little while. And the same thing. He had to go back. Because I'm like, oh. As I'm dancing to Lady Lumps. I'm like, oh. Um, my lumps. Yeah, you're good. My lovely down. Lady Lumps. And I'm doing this. And I'm like, oh, you know, the meetup's going to be here next Friday. He's like, I don't live here. I'm like, oh. That sucks. <laughs> I can't lady hear you. Lumps. So, I can't hear you. I can't hear you over the Lady Lumps. Anyway. Um, so that was cool. We had a great time there. Actually, I really dug rum bar. We'd been there before, and I was kind of like, I was, I hate using the term meh, but I was very meh about it. Like, I don't really get it. Well, we also sat inside. Before. That is true. We've never sat outside. Because usually that's something you, but I asked the bartender when we walked in, do we have to get seated? Because I think the last time they're like, oh, you can't just go sit up. Yeah, they told us we couldn't sit out there. Yeah, you have to get seated. No, we don't care. We'll just walk out there. Now. Yeah, there was a little too much cigar smoke, but what are you going to do? They were, they were smoking them outside. And it was the guy from Rowan and Martin's laughing. What? Old guy, the comedian. Rowan uh, or Martin? No, uh, he was on the show, though. Oh, I don't think it was him, but the <laughs> Canadian lady was like, that looks like. Remember, she goes, you're too young to know Rowan and Martin's laughing. I'm like, of course I am. <laughs> oh, you mean with Goldie Hawn? And, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't know it enough to know the guy's name. I'm too young. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, you don't even know who Goldie Hawn is. No. <laughs> no, I do. Of course you do. She's married to Kurt Russell. Or not married, but they're whatever. Life um, mates. Anyway. They're shagging up. Yeah, for the last 30, 25 years. Kurt Russell's years. my man. I know. Snake Blitzkin. That's right. Anyway, so we had a wonderful time there. So serendipity, I give a nine. Kicked butt. That was great. Rumbar, another nine. Great. And then went to a seven during Lady Love. So we went back to a nine. Then we went down to a seven. Seven to a and nine. nine. Wow. It was like, and it was like. It was, it's funny, because if it was just Lady Loves, it would have been fine, but it was... So oh, it, and, oh, and their drinks. You didn't even talk about that. Oh, because... wait a minute. Stop the presses. <laughs> the drinks are not even yeah. messing around. The they're, drinks are wonderful. They're serious cocktails. These are not... It, was, it wasn't like Jaeger bombs. These were incredible. I had one of the best drinks I've had there at Rum Bar. I don't know what it's called. Do you? You had a Latin Manhattan. I did have a Latin Manhattan. That's it. What? Uh, the guy who runs Rum Bar was on the show and he made a Latin Manhattan. Did you have one? Yeah, I had it. Oh, was it awesome? It's amazing. It's awesome. Well, you know me and ginger beer. It's awesome. It is yeah, so good. You know at... me, I, so I always look, as, as some of our viewers will know, I always look for anything with, with ginger beer. It had ginger beer in it and yeah. tequila, which almost goes to my favorite drink we've ever had on the show, which is the Red Hot Chili Pepper, which I make at home, which is just tequila, gold tequila, ginger beer, and Tabasco. And, and Tabasco. It was very similar to that, and it kicked Major amounts of butt. Wait a minute. Speaking of that, I'm almost out of that case of. Uh, oh, the ginger beer. Ginger beer. So. Well, I gotta get some more. Just putting that out there. All right. Look <laughs> 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 well, at your eyeballs got huge, and I had a pineapple chipotle margarita. And that was insane. That was so good. Too. That was really. It was They're, spicy. Who would have thought their drinks were actually artisan, true, serious drinks? I thought they would all be, you know, uh, vodka Red Bulls. I mean, you know, their drinks were the whole yeah. menu. Really, really nice menu. Killer. So yeah, we had a good time. So did apparently, you try, did you try that drink on your own, or somebody recommended to you? Mm -hmm. or, I mean, you just we just we just we, got we it. We just That's looked through it, read through, it, and I wanted something spicy. So and I wanted something with ginger, ginger beer. beer. That's awesome. And tequila, you know, <laughs> and so that it was just oh, out of this world. So it kind of stunk because uh, our boy uh, Rog was like, "Get another one. I'll I'll, I'll buy you guys a drink." We, uh, we've already had enough. Like oh, I felt so bad. Like 
I, like, I'm not not bad for him, but bad for us because I'm turning down free, a free drink. But I, I couldn't do it. I'm like, I, we got to drive. I've yeah, had we one. had. Yeah. Our night was young. It was still. Our night, so, she was young. And so we went. So we went home and took a booze news. Took a booze news. Another, there was a drunk term of the week two weeks ago. We did take a booze news. We crashed out in preparation to go out drinking. That's right. So <laughs> uh, we had, a, we had a, a house guest in town who is uh, very. House shopping. Who's house shopping and is very sober. So this is the greatest news that the Ivies have ever had. We're going to have a really good friend living in town who doesn't drink and is buying a house. So <laughs> if he's in town, that means somebody, designated driver, doesn't have to be designated driver, and we can get smashed. So I took a boost news in preparation for getting smashed. <laughs> there so, you go. Anyway, so what we did was, in lieu of our friends Nagahide not playing anymore at stations, go more on that later, um, we went to go see Steel Panther, mm -hmm. which we've seen 50 times. And this time, I think you finally stayed awake for the entire show. This time, I think I, fi I finally got it. <laughs> like, I mean, it was, guys it are was incredible. <laughs> like, yeah. Because before, well, before we, we always saw them at um, House of Blues. House of Blues. And, and, that's, it's and they a don't huge start stage. Like 2 in the morning. Yeah, they start super late, and we're always really far away from the stage because the place is packed. At Green Valley, it, you get actually a lot closer. Right. And yeah, and it I'm was not. Still packed. And I wasn't completely like you know. Yeah, you didn't fall. You fell asleep standing up. <laughs> last time we saw Steel Panther, like a horse, you fell asleep standing. Sure. Up. <laughs> I did. No, I did. I was. I was leaning because I can. I can do that. She was leaning on the on the. I'm kind uh, of. I'm kind of amazing. The banister. You know. You, you know. You go down from the upper level down to the floor level. There's a. You know. The, just the banister, and you leaned against that, and literally <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah. Looked like. The loudest rock band playing, and it's. Hey, I were, I take naps when you're playing drums in the house. I'll just like. Uh, that's, it was good. So you actually got to see them finally. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob gets credit for that one, huh? Um, so actually, you got to see them, and you're like, "Wow, these guys are really funny." It's like, yeah. Well, and after seeing you know them so many times, and I think sleeping through their songs, I I remember them through my dreams, and now I like I know all the Still Panther songs. I'm singing along. Oh, okay. So that was what Green is Valley it? Ranch. Two, two in the pink and one in the stink. Oh, stop. <laughs> they don't even get it. <laughs> no, that's, no that, is their, that is their song. But, but yeah, I, I had a great time. So and From there, we had a great time at Green Valley. We went there, then we went to the pub. Did we go to the pub? Yeah, because we met up with those um. Those, no, we met up with some, some friends. friends. So here it is. I'm sitting at Steel Panther. Along comes a guy. Hey, Ray Guns. Like, hey. <laughs> hey, let's party. All right. So we actually hung with them all we night. Went to the Irish, the Irish bar. Went to the Irish bar. Had a great time. We had another great night. Just tore it up. And um, then this is a three-day weekend. This already, by this point, felt like Wednesday. Like, oh, my God. This is only Saturday <laughs> night or Sunday morning. We woke up on Sunday with a whole new, it was a whole new day <laughs> to do whatever we want because no one had to be to work on Monday. That's right. I don't have to be to work ever again. Oh, stop. Um, so, but you didn't have to be to work on Monday. So, and we had a friend in town. So now it's Sunday. What do we do? We tried to go have all you can eat sushi, which by the way, we did get to do yesterday, day before yesterday. We did. And it was, again, I think we scared them. We actually ate so much sushi the other day at, at Goyaman <laughs> Sushi. We actually weren't done, but we hit the, you have an hour to eat all you can eat. We actually hit the hour. <laughs> we hit the hour, and the, the, our, our waitress took, she wouldn't even look at us. But, but we had like <laughs> we're, like, we're like, we want more, we want more. She's we, like, oh, no, no, four, I don't see have, you. <laughs> we had four minutes left. And, so, and then he's like, he's like, hey, Alicia, you, you get her attention. So I was like, hey. Yeah, yeah. We had four <laughs> minutes left more. of our hour. Yeah. You, you could, it's all you can eat. For an hour. For an hour. And it's like, well. So we ate nonstop for an hour. Well, it was funny because like we, me and you were the only for the only two white people in there. The rest is all just all Japanese. All Japanese, right. and then and then who, and so we're just porking out. We're oh, just but eating. They, they've got to be like. Oh. But then those those two UFC guys came in. Yeah, it was like these mixed martial <laughs> arts guys came in with a girlfriend. <laughs> They're super buff dudes. They walked in and then they were doing the same thing like big hungry Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> like more ate sushi, and more ate sushi. And ate. Oh my god. <laughs> I <laughs> tweeted it while we were doing it. I think we, we had already ordered 12 items, and we were, and we were, we didn't, I, I know, but by the time we were done, we ordered 30 different things. <laughs> and that was easy. And we got, I, I took a picture of the menu because on the sushi side, we got one of everything. And it was a list that long. We got one of everything of that, and then a bunch of other stuff. I mean, that's a great place. We finally ran out of room, like out of time. Out of time, not out of room. Right, no, we ran out of room. <laughs> but that, okay, so but that, was, that was a different, that was Monday. But this okay, we're back, so we're back. back. So we Sunday. tried to go there, 
Goyimon Sushi House um, on Decatur. The problem with the place is it's great. The all you can eat is great, but we couldn't even get in. We met, uh, make up with, met, met up with Jacob and Sally, had a friend John with us. We couldn't even get in. It was an hour wait just to even think about it. So we had to relocate. So we went to Ricardo's Mexican restaurant, which is great. Which I think we've talked about before. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a perfectly fine Mexican restaurant over on Decatur and uh, Flamingo. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Um, from there, though, the night took a turn. Took a turn. For the crazy. Because from there, we now, again, I got designated driver. Here's the keys to my truck. Let's go to Meatheads. <laughs> so... We go to meet at this, it's 1121 South Decatur. It's at Decatur and about Charleston. Um, not far from town. I mean, you're th thinking, you know, uh, Charleston is where Frankie's Tiki Room is mm -hmm. and, you know, where downtown starts. Would you call it a dive bar? Oh, is there? Is, I would. Yeah, I mean, if, unless there's one below dive. <laughs> like, I mean, it's. Super deep dive bar? Yeah, yeah. It's, first off, it's a Detroit Lions bar. Well, have you ever seen one of those? No. I've never seen one of those. <laughs> So, and I was like, that's a cool place. I want to go back here for a game because that's got to be awesome. But the reason why we, meant that we went there to watch a friend's band, band play. Band yeah. play. And, and now, now, it's not like the place is set up for a band. They just kind of play by the bathrooms, like on the floor. Like, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a really deep and narrow bar. So you go and the stage is way in the back and then it's right next to the bathrooms. Yeah. And then the bar you can like barely even fit through. So we, we're all watching the band and I'm just like standing by the bathroom door. <laughs> well, it, well, it's one of those things where if your band brought in 50 people, eight will see the band. If your band brought in a thousand people, eight will see the band. It's only the first four, two rows of four people are going to see everybody else's. It doesn't matter. Cool place though. And the people that work there were amazing. They all, the reason we're even mentioning it, they also own Bunkhouse. Now Bunkhouse is Famous for band. Now, that's actually got a stage, and it's a real club that bands play. So what they do is they kind of move bands back and forth between Meatheads and Bunkhouse. And they were saying, too, Meatheads is a place, like, if you've, if you've got, a, like, a touring band, you just want to come and just play for your friends, have, like, a more intimate, small show, just right. they'll kind of, kind of go there and have these little one-off shows. Right, and then you go to Bunkhouse the next night for your actual show. Yeah, Bunkhouse so it's, is it's downtown. A, it's, it's a cool spot. Like, Bunkhouse is not far from the Western, the worst Casino oh yes, the, the one I'm 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 you're forbade to go to. Yes, you're forbade. <laughs> see what I see this? Um, uh, um, so, but yes, that's why I mentioned it. They they have both places, are, and it's like there's bands constantly. Um, it was a dive. Oh, it was. Oh yes. Oh yes. oh yes. Oh yes. It was. So we saw that show, and then from there we got we wanted to meet up with some more friends, so we went to back to Champagne's over on Maryland, right across Maryland, from the college, which we talked about before. The reason why we're bringing this up is this is where you learned. About a really cool drink. Oh, this is, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we're with, so it's about that time of the night where you start getting the texts from, from friends. Where are you guys at? Where are you guys at? Like, well, we're <laughs> at Meatheads. We had cred because we're at Meatheads. We're like, hey, we're at Champagne's. Well, let's go to you because you're more into town. So we went over to Champagne's, right across from the old mall, the Boulevard Mall, right by the college, Maryland and Tropicana, or Maryland and Flamingo. Um, Great old Vegas place. It's been there, like, it's one of the oldest bars in Las Vegas, and it Left. looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, the red and gold wallpaper actually used to be red and silver. The gold is from all the smoke. Smoke? Yeah. yeah. It's just been there for that long. Great karaoke. It's a great, now that's a dive bar. Um, the reason we bring it up, really good friend of ours, Brad, who we've known forever. So anyway, so <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of girls there, not a bunch, it's three of them. That we know, really. So we're all at the table, and we're all having a good time. We're introducing our friend who's in front of Oh, this is our friend, and these are our friends, and we're all having this great time. Now, I go to get a, a, a couple more drinks, and notice our friend Brad is at the bar. And he's got the most elaborate, and I'm <laughs> going to make this next week's show. So I'm going I'm to mention it so you guys can actually prep, and we can all make this together. Oh, that, that'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> You've got to imagine, this is the scenario. I walk up to him, and he's, and he's got like a bunch of glasses in front of him, right? And, it, and I'm like... What you, it looked like one looked like wine and one looked like, like what are you, and I what went, are you doing? what are you doing over here? By yourself at the bar, what are you drinking? Like He's over like, in the corner. <laughs> yeah, way over in the corner. And he goes, Oh, it's a bear fight. It's a bear fight. A bear fight? <laughs> What's a bear fight? He goes, Oh, well, this is a Jaeger bomb, and this is an Irish car bomb, and then a beer to chase it. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, you're over here doing this by yourself? <laughs> Oh my, with no credit, no fanfare, no hoopla, you, this is what you're doing? So he does his Jaeger bomb, which as you know is uh, uh, Red Bull, mm -hmm. he dropped the Jaeger shot into it and drank it, then he took the Guinness, dropped the, uh, the Irish whiskey and Baileys, and then did that, and then grabbed his Budweiser and went, yeah, so anyway, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that's the most impressive thing. <laughs> so David was thoroughly impressed. By I, was, I, I was like, okay. 
I, first off, we got to try this. Second, I can't believe it. He didn't, with no fanfare. Most people would, would like, hey, look what I'm going to do. No, he was just over there drinking bear fights. Bear fights. Yes. <laughs> Man. Sounds like a party. So I think next week's show, we'll try a bear fight. Also, I did get, um, never mind. You can me. watch how slow I do my I, bear fight. I, I, uh, it'd be a slow bear fight. Like, <laughs> um, we did get a suggestion. Um, I wrote, we're prepping for the show one day, two weeks ago. And I was venting on our house guests drinking all but like this much of our alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, because they don't want to finish our body. I think I'm a little obsessed with this. I think so. Um, but it, it would make me mad because you, they don't realize... Look, we do a show, and we have to bring this to a show and make drinks. And if you don't leave us enough, we can't. So anyway, I posted this <laughs> on, fa on Facebook and said, this is what happens when you know, people leave this much alcohol. And I got a couple, suggest couple of people suggested a, oh, what do they call it? It's like everything. Oh, it's called a Grateful Dead. Oh, what is that? Just a mixture of It must of be everything? like an adios or something because it's got like everything. And I haven't looked it up. But I think I'm going to also look into using all of our burnt bottles. That's like a suicide. I think so. It's called a Grateful Dead. So I'm going to have to look into that, too, because we have a lot. In fact, if you look at our orange, it's got, now that's got that much in it. I'll finish that later. <laughs> finish that on the 15. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that might be something else. But I, I, Bear Fight, we might have the, we might have the hoots butt to try that. So. I'm in. You're in? You in? <laughs> urine. Um, urine. So anyway, that was, was that our was that was our Sunday. That was that was our that was our weekend. Right, and then Monday, of course, we went and had the sushi and scared the scared the scared the, sushi. the poor sushi the and sushi lady. <laughs> so and then although it's not kiss trivi band, we did a lot of other stuff. Again, yeah. we don't so we don't mention everything that we do. We actually ended up kind of doing. We went to the Crown Theater and saw Strutter. Strutter, the world's, world's renowned kiss trivi. The, the 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 Rod Stewart guy lookalike was hanging out in there. That's, yeah. that's pretty cool. But anyway, that's, 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 a, that's another story. <laughs> that's a whole other story. So, but anyway, um, you've heard enough from us. Let's switch it over and hear from you guys for once. That's right. segment we call Hey Bartender. Hey Bartender. Take it away. I hope we didn't already read this one. I pasted it into the notes. I don't think we did. No. Let's go. Hey, Elisa and David. Yeah, little little <laughs> little strutter. Oh, that was a strutter. Play it again. I know a thing or two about her. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, David and Alicia. I got my Roku from Amazon last week. I was impressed by the great content that is available on the Roku player. Woo! Woo! The first show I watched was Top of the Food Chain, Al Mancini, and I saw a promo for your show, so I thought I would check it out. Wow, those promos work, Scott. Promos work. <laughs> Awesome! I'm so glad I did. I visit Vegas a couple times a year, and I'm always looking for fun and new places to go that do not cost a fortune. I have such a hard time finding really cool places on my own, so I'm really happy I found your show. Do you have any recommendations on any cool places that do not get too crowded on holiday weekends? Oh. No. No. <laughs> kidding? No. <laughs> you know what? This was a holiday weekend this week, and nothing, I don't think anything was Oh, absent. this is from Stan, by the way. Okay. Well, Stan. Thanks, um, Stan. I... You know, this was a holiday weekend. Nothing was outrageously too crowded. I didn't see anything. Funny enough, though, we walked through Caesars. That place was jumping. Funny thing about Caesars, they do a business. I mean, the casino. Um, the bars are all fine. I mean, clubs and stuff, yeah, probably crazy. And you can't go to dinner at 8 o'clock, as we learned, you know, a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Go to dinner at 6 or 9, you know, I mean, it's, or not even 9, 6 or 10. Five or ten. Yeah, you know, um, just there's those kind of those are more the rules. It's not really you can go anywhere you want. You can go to Mon Ami Gabi if you want to. It's but just don't it might be between, a little bit of a wait. Yeah, don't go between seven and ten though. If you're gonna be, it's, it'll be or even six and ten. Go at four, you know. Or if you're gonna go have dinner somewhere, just go whenever you want to go and sit at the bar until they call you and then you go and eat. Right. <laughs> or just hang do out. Like we do get your little. You go to the sushi place. They either give you a beeper or take your number, and they'll call you when the table's ready. And then go to PT's Pub next door and have a couple of drinks. Yeah. Then what's ready? We walk next door. And Kill time. Yeah. So it's no big deal. That's cool. Well, thanks, Dan. Oh, chat room. Chat room. Uh, yeah, Sally wants to know, do you have to pay to get into the, uh, the local pools here? Do locals have to pay, I mean? Yes. Pools. Yes. If, if at all, if, if locals are allowed, it's free. I've never seen a thing where it's, it's uh, 
where locals had to pay. To pay. Locals were allowed to get in, but they had to pay. Unless it's like... Tau? No, locals are free at Tau. Oh, for locals. Okay. Oh, but if you have to pay... The only thing you have to pay is like Flamingo. But everybody has to pay. There's not even a deal for locals. That's just everybody pays. Same with um, uh, Mandalay Bay. <clears throat> it's everybody can go, but everybody has to pay. I've never seen anything where only locals can go, but locals have to pay. It's like, no, if, either you have to pay or you don't. Also, they, uh, somebody mentioned uh, Swingers Club at Plaza. Have you been there yet? No, in fact, I'm not, I didn't even really was totally sure the Plaza was open yet. It is. And it just opened. I'm anxious to go, but I, you got to understand, I play, I've been on Fremont Street four nights a week for the last three months. The, the, I, the thought of going to Fremont Street right now is just like... Well, we're going. Get over it. Oh, I know we probably <laughs> will, but... Jeez, man. Man, but at least it's the other end of Fremont Street. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's why our show's back on Wednesdays, because I'm not playing... Uh, right now, I'd be, well, getting ready for the first set, actually. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I haven't tried it yet. I don't even know what the Swingers Club's about, but it, is it really a Swingers Club, or are they just calling it that? No, no. Because no, if it's no. a Swingers Club, I ain't going. No, no of course <laughs> not. Good. Okay. And that's why you're still married. Right, right, right. No, they, uh, the, it's called a Swingers Club because they have a miniature golf course going through the bar. Oh. Oh, and They cool. also have dueling pianos there as well. Oh, okay. Dueling piano seems to be all the rage. Even though everywhere I've seen it, it's never been a huge hit except for New York, New York. It kills it, New York, New well, York. Well, that place at uh, Town Square... What's that? that oh, that's got its own. That's, a, that's that all it is. is it always is, and that's all locals. Well, you know, Town Square, we ended up there the other day, too. Um, and, oh, we got bad service at Town Square. Oh, and, uh, we'll, we'll go back well, we'll there. We'll go and back talk and get a, a real review. But we walked into a brand new bar at a place that seems to always fail, like a location. Walked in and got bad service and walked we out. We walked like, out. Well, you guys are really risky right now. But we'll go back and do it. Real, but um, Town Square. Does, it's jumping. And yeah, that bar, it's just a dueling piano bar. That's yep. always packed. You have to pay to get into that. So that's the deal with swingers is they have the dueling, the dueling pianos. They have the, the miniature golf course. They also have a stage, so occasionally they'll have live music. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's uh, owned by Anthony Cools. Which is also very oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but I noticed go it, check that out. I'm not really up on the entertainers. I, know, I, I just realized that Steve War Wyrick is over at Hilton now. And it's like it's, it, it's it's so funny when you get into this this world of Vegas and how things move around. Like there's better shows to find out this kind of information than us, but I just now notice that stuff. Like, hey, Steve Weirich's over at the Hilton. <laughs> hey, a peanut. You know, like it's, you know, whatever. I don't. Even, but um, well, anyway, thank you, Stan. Um, now something that doesn't happen in Vegas very often, but does happen on this show every week. Mm -hmm. Something called last call. <laughs> This is where you find out how to get, not get thrown out, throw up, knocked out, knocked up, or thrown in jail in Las Vegas. You did it. Good job. Now, here's a little tip. <laughs> Learn from me. You might, you guys, I know what you guys are thinking. Dave, why do you look so rock and roll today? You're looking very <laughs> rock and roll. Why so? They're all asking that. Why I know so it. so rock and roll today? Well, it's in homage or homage to, um, <laughs> or homage, um, to a friend of ours band. Or homage. Right. Friend of ours band, Nagahide, who we've mentioned before. Fed Rat got in a fight with them at one, one of our shows, one of their shows. Rat got up on stage and fought with the singer. It's and uh, they, uh, they finished, as, as we just did on Fremont Street, they are no longer at their gig. They were playing uh, Sunset Station every Saturday night. And it was one of the funnest things we ever did. We would go at least once a week. And once, I'm sorry, once a month. Mm -hmm. Sometimes twice, twice a month. Great classic rock band, fun. They call it mustache rock. So it was all the fog hats and skinners and that kind of stuff. It wasn't, you know, the Yellow Brick Road's in town. They're like a serious classic rock band. This is, they were fun, hilarious, great band. No longer there. Um, back in Los Angeles and don't know if they'll be back or not. Point is. Nancy Reagan. Reagan, same <laughs> thing. You know, we're not, you know, and, and we're all looking for new gigs. They're looking for a new gig. We're looking for a new gig. Here's, here's what I've learned, though. I was posting about them not having their show, and some of our fans went, oh, I've been meaning to see them. They were great. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's Vegas. If you think you want to see a show, whether it be a band or absinthe, it's not going to be around forever. Or a bar you've been wanting to try. You know what? Even a casino you might want to frequent. Mm -hmm. I would go to it because things here don't last forever. It's not like, you know, 
Boy, you know, when I'm in Rome, I sure want to see that Pantheon. Well, you know what? It's probably going to be there next time you come back. <laughs> um, Odds are. You know, but, you know, that, that show that's in a tent out in front of Caesars might not be, you know, or whatever. Or that bar you like or that restaurant you really dig mm -hmm. might not be there. Um, I've heard rumor that um, Ototo's closed, one of our favorite Mexican res restaurants closed. Um, I you say Lolita, think, Lolita's closed temporarily. But they, yeah, we ran to the manager. He said they're going to reopen, but you never know. Um, you think that Four Kegs might be closed? Oh, uh, uh, what's the uh, that one place right by Dave's Rum Runner, Carluccio's? Oh, Carluccio's! Oh my God, we really mentioned Gardens, that. So we used to go to all the time. Yeah. The Liberace place that we love. The Liberace Fun. restaurant, they're closed. Right. The museum closed this last year, and this, and then just like. Uh, two weeks ago, the restaurant finally, which is crazy because that place was always packed. I don't know what happened there. But again, if you want to do it, do it. Again, dive, dive bar closed? Dive bar. If you, suppose you don't live here and you come out, you know, it might be six months till you're back or three months or two weeks or a mm -hmm. year. You better do it. I mean, it's because it just, you know, it's, I'm just, I, I'm learning now that, you know, everything, I'm learning how precious time is. And, it how is. little of it we have. Although it's something good that new places open all the time also the, in this the, town. There's well, that's something the beauty new. of us and, and, and like our show, for instance. Everybody's like, aren't you going to run out of stuff? It's like, you know what? At the rate things switch over and change, you know, and oh, they don't do that anymore. They do this. We're, we'll be fine. We're not going anywhere. I'm just no, saying. No, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you, if you want to see a, con a show or a band or an, an act, and, oh, Lance Burton, you better go. I'm dying to see Jabberwockies. Well, you better go see Jabberwockies because... <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, anyway, that's my tip. See, see it. Do it. it. But um, anyway, if you'd like to get a hold of us, mm -hmm. pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. That's pubcrawl at VegasVideoNetwork.com. Um, we're on the Twitter, LB Locals, and Vegas Video Network. You can find nice. us all together. In fact, if you just find one of us, you can find the other because we follow each other. Um, we're also uh, on iTunes. Roku, obviously, Stan. Roku. Got the live, Roku. live listener line. Yes. Oh, wait. Or live, toll-free listener line. <laughs> right. It might be. It's, it's like a live party line. <laughs> There's no live listener. No, it's 866-966-4599 is the listener line. KSHB, Friday nights. What I said, it's Wednesday for us. Might be Friday if you're listening to us right now. K that's right, KSHB, that's right. 1400 a.m. in Las Vegas on Friday nights. What a better thing to do while you're waiting in line for your table at Mon Ami Gabi is to you use your little transistor radio, which everybody carries, right? And, and listen to our show. That's right. And uh, remember, Bob Crawl urges you to drink responsibly. Yes. And we may leave stuff out, which we did, but we will not make stuff up. Until next week. Thank you to the live topless audience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. It was a pleasure. And the two bottomless ones. Oh, and also I... thank you to the live chat room. Jeez. Can't, oh, we, can't for, we can't forget our peers. Okay. All right, until next time. Now we can officially say goodbye. Cheers. <laughs>